prepare to be bedazzled because today not enough of the epic bout is slated to commence in Nickelodeon, Super Brawl 3, without further ado, without further delay, without further procrastination, let's allow the frivolities, antics, and trivialities to ensue. Here we go. Today, the illustrious, iconic, notorious, revered, venerated, renowned SpongeBob SquarePants has pitted up against his antithesis, who's known by the moniker of a brace of SpongeBob SquarePants, who will prevail, who will falter, who will emerge triumphant. Stay tuned because I will keep you abreast of the play by play. Is a brace of SpongeBob SquarePants deemed to be a nefarious, sadistic, iniquitous, malicious, malevolent, cunning, conniving, diabolical, sinister, hostile? character, or is he deemed to be a neutral character? I do not know anything about this character's lore, however, I'm under the axiom that he harbors ill will, animus, and malcontent towards me. Is he festering a grudge against me? Is he going to vector his unbridled wrath, his ire, his rage, and his furiosity towards me? Is he going to martyr me, maim me, mangle me, mutilate me, brutalize me, ravage me, decimate me, subdue me, and incapacitate me? No, I managed to prevail by the skin of my teeth. I survived the scuffle against the brace of SpongeBob SquarePants. Is the brace of SpongeBob SquarePants due to be the antithesis of SpongeBob SquarePants, who the show knows? I presume that he's not deemed to be a neutral character. Is he deemed to be a villainous character? As I stated earlier, I did not know anything about his lore, so. I'm still uncertain as to whether or not he's deemed to be a hero character, a or a villainous character, or a neutral character. Nonetheless, I hope that you deem this video to be riveting, captivating, mesmerizing, engrossing, enthralling, and of course, amusing. I hope that you are regaled, bedazzled, entertained, amused, floored, fascinated, captivated, and of course, entrenched in the unalloyed epicness. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.